While most of us might be counting down the days until our next vacation, the Princess of Wales, Catherine, is making a milestone that's not about her summer break, but about a decade of making a difference. This royal rock star, who's not just about tiaras and tea parties, celebrated a monumental ten-year journey with Place to Be, a charity close to her heart that has been transforming the mental health landscape in schools. The summer holidays might be in full swing, but for Catherine, it's not all about kicking back and catching rays. With her three royal youngsters in tow, she's reflecting on a remarkable journey. Catherine's patronage with Place to Be started even before she officially became a royal, back in the days when she was just Catherine. That's right, she was already roller skating her way into philanthropy, organising fundraisers for this vital cause. Fast forward to April 2013, when the world officially got a new patroness, then the Duchess of Cambridge herself. The Royal Partnership was sealed, and over the next decade, this powerhouse of a woman proved that her heart was as majestic as her title. From her first outing with the charity, sporting a baby bump with Prince George, to launching programmes that address parental substances misuses impact on children, Catherine drove headfirst into initiatives that resonated with her compassion and commitment. But wait, there's more. Catherine wasn't content with just one feather in her charitable cap. In the true spirit of making a difference, she launched Mentally Healthy Schools, championing the well-being of children across the UK. As if that wasn't enough, she embarked on a mission to make the early years count, culminating in the establishment of the Royal Foundation Centre for Early Childhood in 2021. Now, back to the present, a decade down this remarkable road. Catherine's not just the Duchess who launches, she's a Duchess who leaves a legacy. With every assembly she leads, every bedtime story she reads, and every campaign she champions, she's proving that compassion, backed by action, can change lives. And it's not just about the numbers, though they're staggering. 500 schools, 243,000 children and young people reached. It's about the impact she has on real lives, on futures shaped by her dedication. Catherine Roche, Chief Executive of Place to Be, puts it best. We are forever grateful to Her Royal Highness for her support and ongoing deep commitment to children and young people's mental health. And aren't we all? So, as the summer sun bathes the royal palaces and picnics unfold in picturesque gardens, let's raise a glass, not just to Princess Catherine, but to the idea that every individual, no matter the title or station, can make waves of change. The princess who roller discoed for a cause, the princess who read bedtime stories, and the woman who believed in shaping young minds. Catherine, you've given us all a reason to believe that small actions can lead to grand transformations.